In this video, I head to the patch of bush at the back of the farm with my kids to build a tarp shelter that we can camp out in. Over a few days, we try some bushcraft fire starting methods and also spend time searching for wildlife to see what we can find. We set out to experience the different moods of the farm while camping in sun, fog and rain, while teaching my kids to love the outdoors. G'day everyone, welcome back to another video and uh, I'm here with my kids, got Emmy here, got Ethan and we're on the property today, we're on the farm property and uh, the whole point of today's video is we're going to build a little bit of a bushcraft shelter um, using a tarp and yeah we're going to sleep out in tonight and have a camp, it's going to be awesome. So this is the area of Chosen, because it's a bit of a flat area, um, obviously that's good for sleeping but also it means that it, it's not so boggy here, it's a little bit raised so the water water doesn't sit here, it's very boggy right there but on this little green patch here we should be right and then yeah it's beautiful because we've got heaps of bushland here that we're surrounded by I've used this before when I've camped down here in this spot but this is a nice long pole for the top shelter. So there's my tarp, Hi. it's just a cheap one, I wanted to get an oil skin or a canvas tarp but I just didn't have the money for it right now, so I just picked up this cheap uh, tarpaulin and uh, it should do the job, it'll look good. So this is a new Birkin wheel swag that I picked up from them. Um, this is the Iron Bark uh, King Single Full Fly, and it's a great swag. I mean, it's really bulky right now because it's got um, it's got a mattress in there, which is going to be great for tonight. But uh, when you take the mattress out, uh, it's really thin and lightweight, which would be good for some more um, hiking trips that I'm going to do. All right, well, it's actually been really hard to film this video today because uh, if you notice in the video, Ethan will be here, then Emma, then both of them, and Emma changes jackets, and it's because I'm driving them up and down, back to the house, back and forth. You know, Ethan cut his finger, so he wants a Band-Aid, and Emma got hungry for lunch, so, 
yeah it's really hard to just focus on this project <laughs> and then also help the kids out so what I might do is uh, I'm gonna set this this uh, structure up and I'm gonna leave it here for a while and I might um camp out a few nights here with the kids maybe you know different two of the kids or one of the kids at a time and do a few little variations and different bushcraft stuff so that's my plan for this but light is really running out quick I've got one swag set up I'll probably chuck another swag in there and I don't know I might have two kids with me tonight um, but I'm gonna set up a little fireplace and I'm gonna set it up so that it's sheltered in case it rains so I'm gonna get cracking and get onto that All right, so this is my setup. We've got the Burke and Will swag in there, and then I've got the old Jim Allen and Son uh, swag in there from the 19, 1980s or 1970s, I think it is. And uh, that's our little setup for sleeping tonight. Yeah, this kind of stuff actually does take quite a while just to just to do. I thought I'd, I'd have it done really quick, but it's taken a few hours just to source all the material, and it's good fun though. So I don't know how many kids I'm going to have with me here tonight. We'll see. So guys, just wanted to share some good news about the channel. I'm finally monetized. Um, yeah, it's been a year and a half of just making videos and getting them out there to reach this point. So I'm really happy with that. Now, I always told myself with monetization on YouTube, that's when I'll start reaching out to people, to fans um, and subscribers to say, look, if you do want to support, you know, there's two avenues you can do that. There's, um, uh, I've got a Patreon up now, which I will definitely put a link to that in the description of this video. And you can check out my Patreon there if you, you want to help. If you'd like to keep it in-house into YouTube, I, I do have a YouTube membership happening now. Um, so if you want to stick to that, that would also be great. So look, if you feel like my content has given you value over the last year or so, and you'd like to contribute towards making more of these videos, um, yeah, I'd really appreciate that. For those of you who have signed up to the Patreon already, thank you so much. It really helps just to have that extra coin to be able to come out and do these little adventures. Um, yeah, because it's taking quite a lot of money. Um, and look, I'm going to do it regardless, <laughs> even if I make nothing from it, but it just helps in the consistency and being able to make more of these videos. So yeah, if you guys want to get on board with that, that would be awesome. Come on, good dog. Come and check it out. Come and check out Cam. What do you think of it? You want to stay here with us tonight? You've been stalking us, have you? All right, guys, so I'm in a patch of bushland at the back of our property, and basically, uh, a company called Cam Park that does trail cameras sent me a message a while ago and they actually sent me out this trail cam to give a try. So what I've done is I've set it up here in this patch of bush because we get fallow deer, we get samba deer, we get roo, wallaby, wombat, get a bunch of stuff here. So I'd love to try this out and see what we can capture. There's a bit of a, a natural trail here that animals obviously use. So hopefully I've gotten something. I set this up a few days ago, but I reckon tomorrow I'm gonna check it out to see if there's anything on there. Now this camera is really cool so far. It, first of all, it shoots in 4K, um, 30 frames per second, so I'm pretty happy about that. And then it's also, unlike my other trail cam, it actually has a solar system here to keep it charging. So yeah, I can just leave this out here for a while and hopefully, um, yeah, it'll just keep charging the, the internal battery. 
So yeah, I'm gonna try this out, see how it goes, and I will leave a link in the description to this particular trail camera if you too would like to get one. And this is what I mean by deer. This is our back paddock and it's just hoof print after hoof print after hoof print. And they all come from that little bushland there. All right, so this is the plan. We've got everyone down here now, and we're gonna make a little fire. We're gonna roast some marshmallows. And then uh, tonight, Elisha and Ethan are gonna sleep here with me. Emma's gonna stay with mummy, give mummy some company up at the house. But then on the next night, me, Emma and Bodie are gonna do a bushcraft camp, and we're gonna camp down here. So tonight it's in the swags, me, Ethan and Elisha. But uh, let's get a fire going and roast some marshmallows. What do you reckon, guys? Yeah, yeah, right. yeah, daddy. Why don't I got to eat with it? Yeah. You see a bear? I'm busy right now. You want? Are we going to like? I want some more marshmallow, Daddy. Give me a second. Oh, here comes that. It's just turned out to be a splendid evening, so it might still rain in the night, but it's just so beautiful right now with the golden sunset glowing on us. Yeah, my show's your face. You got marshmallow in your hair. <laughs> hey mate, what are you working on? Mate, that you could really easily cut yourself like that. Again. You see what you're doing? See how you're sawing it on your leg? So never saw it, use your leg. If you want, use another bit of wood to support it. Yeah, like that. As we settled in for the night, I couldn't help but think of the privilege to be able to walk out our back door and camp in a place like this. Sure, it's not a wild national park, but we were still surrounded by the natural world, with bushland bordering on us and roos and wallabies and possums coming out to play. How much better to be out here in the cold rather than inside in front of a screen, trying to pass on knowledge and experiences to my kids, something that I hope is lasting that they can remember and cherish in years to come. All right, what's going on in here, little kitties? You like the swag? Yeah, or fire. I do have my uh, old man's uh, scope here, real powerful torch, so Ethan and I will probably have a look and see if we can find any possums before we go to bed. But it's nice just to enjoy around the fire tonight.
<laughs> Good morning. Morning. <laughs> It's a beautiful morning. It's very foggy down here in the valley, but up on top of the hill you can see the sunrise and it looks beautiful over there. But uh, yeah, it was really nice just to camp out with Ethan and Elisha and this pioneer Where's inspired... Ethan? Where's Ethan? Where's Ethan? Ethan went back to the house. He just disappeared. He didn't want brekkie. But that's all right. More brekkie for me and you, mate. And with the fog lifting, we went back up to the house to watch the sunrise. Though I was not done with the shelter. I still wanted to take my daughter for a camp and see how much wildlife we had caught on the trail camera and get a taste of camping in the shelter during more wet weather. All right, we're down here at the little tarp shelter for another night. And this time I'm with Emma tonight, we're camping out. And tonight we are going to be using the stretcher beds. Stretcher beds. That's gonna be cool. And tonight is looking like it's gonna be a bit more rainy and, and stormy. So we'll see how we go. But first things first, I wanna try and get a fire going. And I'm gonna do that using uh, some bushcraft fire starting methods. Basically, I want to do the bow drill fire method tonight. I'll give it a go. And this was taught to me by uh, Scotty from Sutherland Bushcraft. And uh, I've been experimenting with different woods, um, like black wattle and stuff like that. But I found that some of the non-native stuff, like um, uh, this is cypress pine, has worked uh, much better. Now, I find it still very hard, and I've only got it once. So I'm going to give it a crack. But look, I'm, I'm really not going to... If I can't get it, I'm just going to use this new ferro rod. Um, this is a ferro rod I got from Sutherland Bushcraft as well with a beautiful leather case. So, look, if I can't get the bow drill, I'll just use the ferro rod tonight. But it would be cool to show Emma at least how it's done. And there's a lot of moisture in the air. It's um, not very hot right now, so... You gotta give it a crack! I'm gonna give it my best shot. And see if I can get that smoke is for an ember. Tell you what, it can be really hard to get an ember going. <laughs> and see guys, I'm actually, I've gone right through my fireboard and so I can't be bothered doing a new one right now. Where's the ferro right here? I'm going to try and get a spark right in the middle here. Simple as that. It just shows how much easier ferro rod is. Alright Emma. <laughs> and there's our mozzie net. Keep the mozzies off our heads at least tonight. It's a shame I couldn't get that bow drill and that I went right through and broke through on the fireboard and I couldn't be bothered just to start a, 
start a new divot or hole or whatever to, to drill into. I was getting tired there and that's the reality of it, I guess, you know. Uh, you don't always get it. And look, I don't want to pretend to be something I'm not. I have so much to learn. I've only just started getting into it myself. Um, but yeah, it's just fun to give it a go and have a crack at it. Hey Emma, see any wildlife tonight? That was a windy night. It was nice sleeping in here with the pitter patter of the rain over the top. Emma and I are just going for a walk to go check out the trail cam, see if we've caught any wildlife on it. Come and have a look, Emma. A wallaby. I think. How cool is that? Yeah. A kangaroo. <laughs> I think. No, I think that's a wallaby. Because yeah. wallabies are little. What's that? What's that? What do you think that was? I don't know. Have another look. Looks like a wolf. Looks like a wolf. Yeah. <laughs> it's a fox. A nut. Yeah, it's a fox. They're not native to Australia though. I think that's it. Just some wallaby and foxes. But I'll leave this up for um, a few more nights and hopefully I can put in the edit any more animals that I capture on it. So yeah, it's really cool just to use something like this if you have a little bit of property. Or hey, even if you don't, go out to some scrubland, some bushland and set it up. You know, they, no one's going to take it because they're, they're so well camouflaged. And, yeah, see what kind of wildlife you can get. I recommend doing it. Yeah, it's really, really fun. I'll put a link in the description if you want to purchase one of these cameras as well. Otherwise, it's been a great video just to build this little shelter out here in the back paddock by the bush with my kids. And, yeah, just get them outdoors. It's kind of like, you know, building a little cubby house as a kid. It's good fun. Guys, if you've liked this video, make sure you subscribe if you haven't. Give it a like and a comment. And feel free to join my Patreon or join the YouTube channel uh, if that's something you'd be interested in doing. Thanks guys, have a good one.